That's dope, man. Did you see a Mexican OT on No Jumper today? Mm -mm. Yeah, man, he was on No Jumper, man. I was like, oh, no, man, that boy on that bitch. Yeah, he's doing good, man. I hope, I hope, man, that he can do something uh, positive for the people, like have some kind of a message or don't just be a, a fool with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, be like a, a role model type nigga or, or some kind of leader, man. Like, we still ain't got shit for the Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? Don't be no dumbass. You know what I'm saying? Because one move will fuck it all up. You know what I'm saying? He's still young, so he gonna learn. But he could fuck it all up. One move, man. He gotta, he gotta be careful and, and, and do shit in a certain way. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Rap game's gonna eat you up. Rap game's a motherfucker. You already know. So good luck, and I hope he does good, man, you know, but I want to see something, man, that I can jam, and I'll be like, man, I feel that one, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But right now, I haven't I haven't heard of a hit yet that, that's on the radio that everybody knows, you know what I'm saying? Not me, not yet. I like his shit, though, man. I, I fucking was, man, I jammed out to a few of them. I, you know, I think he has a different style. I think he's fucking dope. Um, yeah, no, he's good. He's he good. Like doing something different. He, I feel like he's he's confident in himself, you know, to go out there in the world and do what he does. He's comfortable in his own skin, and you know, I like his his, um, his style, bro. I like his style, and uh, you know, I, I just I just hope the best for him. I, I hope he, uh, you know, take takes it where it needs to go. But but no jumper is pretty pretty big, uh, yeah. pretty big platform to be on. So. You know, just don't fuck it up. Don't stay around no dumb ass niggas. Don't hang around no dumb motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just, you know how that shit goes. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I think you're speaking on like, because you guys done been through stuff like that, you know, in the game to where it's one little simple thing can fuck things up for you guys, you know? So it's not, yeah. you know, people need to understand that you guys went through a lot. But yeah, he talked about South Park Mexican today on there because they asked him about it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, you know, so so that was love too, uh, for the for the dope house. Cause you know, he works with us and stuff at the dope house. Um but yeah, I just wanted to talk about that for a little bit. Cause I seen him on and you know, you know, if, you know, it felt good to have someone from H Town go up there. But you know what, there's another dude that, that went out there from H Town too, a young Mexican cat. Can't think of his name right now, but uh, what's the name of that show you talking about? The podcast, no jumper. no jumper. Yeah, yeah, no, it's dope. It's dope. Uh, I like all their personalities, man. Like up there, like every everyone is different. You got Adam Twenty Two, you know, um, he's just pretty cool and chill. Uh, but my my favorite guy is Sharp. Did, did you did you ever? Look oh at yeah, him? yeah. You're trying to tell me about that dude. I hadn't, I didn't even looked him up yeah. yet, man. That fucking dude, bro. That's my idol right there. That motherfucker be snapping. He be snapping on motherfuckers, bro. He just tell him real shit. He just goes in. Uh, motherfucking modern day motherfucking uh uh uh, uh what was his fucking name? The, the one the one with the long hair that had all the porn stars and shit. Oh, Howard Stern? That's like the modern day Howard Stern, bro. Howard Stern, yeah, man. But but he he he's raw. He, he's he's like times ten, bro. Like he's he's in there getting on hoes ass and shit. I'm like, this was a fool. Like insulting and shit. They're asking about Young Easy on here. Uh, Young man, Easy, man. Bro, I just heard a song. I just seen Young Easy. I think it was on Instagram. And uh, man, he had this song. I think it was just to his mom or something, man. But man, I was like, that shit sound sound good, man. Like it, you know, it, you know, it, it it attaches people to their emotions and shit. You know what I mean? Like, motherfuckers start feeling a certain way with some of the messages, you know, like, it's like when you wrote, when, when Tupac wrote Dear Mama, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, you know, it's not saying the same shit, but it was like, it was just a real ass message, you know what I mean, that he was putting out, and I was like, man, I fucking felt it, you know what I'm saying? I felt it. I like it, man, because he came by the dope house, and he put them boxing gloves on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and uh, me and him went one round with the gloves on, just, just fucking around though. Now you know what I'm saying. And uh, then he went one round with a uh, the dude from uh, San Antonio, K. Ro. Okay. And he, and he and he busted K. Ro in the lip. Wow, with a one-two. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? 
So Young Easy, I fuck with Young Easy. I like Young Easy. Young Easy's cool. You know, he shows love. He came shout through out. and showed up and showed love. He ain't tripping, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Ghetto Rancho in the building. 